Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to use some if and some ifs with a date range. Let's say you're trying to find the sum of a number, but it's within a certain date threshold. Recently had to do this and it, this came in, in handy and so I wanted to share it with you. Obviously, some if and some ifs can be very helpful in figuring out totals for different things, different criteria and whatnot. But let's say we have a scenario here where we want to figure out our sales before 114 of 2025 date here. So what we're going to do for our formula here is we're going to do equals sum if. And something that we're going to want to keep in mind with the sum if function is this one we do the the criteria first the you know this one will be the dates first and then the, the sales will be the second part the part that we actually sum. So we're going to do we're going to select our date range and then we're going to hit, make it an absolute cell reference here. Then we'll do comma and we want it before the 114. So what we're going to do is we're going to do quotation marks first. That's important. Less than quotation marks. And then we have to do and, and then pick the date that we want. So we can just do H3 here. And so that's going to be the criteria piece of our formula. So we just need to do, we're going to just do another comma there and then select our, our sum range. And then we'll make that an absolute reference as well. And then we're going to close parentheses, hit enter, and that's giving us 20,495. So we can double check that. We can go down to through the 13th. So it's again, it's anything before the 14th, so the 13th and before, and it's 20,495. So we know that that formula worked. Let's say we want to do it to include that 14th date. So all we have to do to our formula here is after the lesson, add an equal sign, press enter, and then that's going to be less than or equal to. So that's going to pull in that 14th date. So we can check it. And it's 21908, just as it's showing up here. So perfect. That, that works great. We'll, we'll do it anything after that date, right? So we're going to do some if. We'll do kind of the same thing, just a, a backwards exercise here. We're going to go ahead and select our date range. And then we're going to do our, our quotation marks again. And so instead of this time less than, we want to do greater than. Excuse me, quotation marks. And we, get, we select that date again. So that's our criteria part of our formula. And now we're going to select the part that we want to sum. And we make that an absolute reference. And then we we'll close parentheses. We're going to enter here. It's showing $10,342. So let's check after that date. It is $10,342. So perfect. It works out great. Same thing here. Let's say we want to include the 14th. We just go ahead and do greater than or equals. And now if we check the 14th included, it's giving us that 11.75. So perfect. That looks great. Let's say we, however, want to do between two certain dates. So what we do here in this situation, let's pick our two dates. So let's do 1-7-2025 is going to be our first date. And then we'll do one 14 2025 is our so what we're going to do if we want to do between two dates i would i recommend doing equals some ifs so this is going to allow you to do multiple criteria so we've got our sum range so again with the sum if as opposed to the sum if we want to do the sum range first so go ahead and do that and now it's asking for criteria range one so we're going to do our date range here because this is the criteria we're looking for. And then we're going to do a comma. So now criteria one, we want to do it after 1-7. So we're going to do greater than and 1-7. And then that should be our, our first criteria. So we're going to do a comma. Now it's going to ask for our second criteria. What's our second criteria range? Well, that's just our date range again. We're going to do that so cell reference there. We're going to do a comma. And then we are going to do a quotation mark. And we're going to do less than because we want anything before the 14th quotation mark. And the date that we want is the end date. So now we can just do close parentheses, hit enter. And now it's giving us, we're going to format our painter here, 9,333. So we can go ahead and check after the 7th, so it's the 8th through the 13th, and it's giving us that right number. The sum is 9,333, which is perfect. And again, let's say we wanted to include, we wanted to include the 14th, we would just have to do an equals for the 7th, and we do an equal sign 
for both of these, and then it's going to go ahead and include the 7th and the 14th, and that's giving us 12,730. So we can see that the formula is working great to get our, our sum if with the eight criteria. Let's say, however, we want to add one more layer of complexity in this. Some of us, you can obviously have a number of different criteria. So let's say we want data for the Northeast. Okay, so we're going to do kind of the same thing here. We'll borrow all these dates here. So we're going to do equals sum ifs. And again, sum ifs, we're going to do our, our sum range first. So that's our sales data. We're going to do our, our date range criteria is going to be our most our first criteria so we want to do a comma and then criteria again it's just the same thing we want to do before or less than do and there and so we do that's an important piece and that 114 date and so that's our first criteria now the second criteria we want to do that northeast piece so now we have to select this column or this data here that has the uh, the northeast and then we will, for the criteria, we just need to select whatever region that's going to be. Easy as that. I'm actually going to hit, as I have some reference, we're going to hit that. And let's see what our numbers come out to be. So before the 14th, we have $4,899. So we've got one there, and one there, and one there. So... As we can see, it's pulling correctly. It's showing $4,899 for the, for the Northeast before the 14th. So that's awesome. What we can do to make things easy, if we, let's say we want to do that for the after the 14th, we can copy that same formula. And instead of doing before or less than, all we have to do is greater than, so any date after the 14th. And then that's going to give us a whole new number just by switching that, that one criteria there. So now if we look after the 14th, we can look at the Northeast. We only got one entry there, and it's showing 1884, which is what's showing here. Um, we could even go one step further, and now it's it's uh, pulling these same dates, which is great. That's what makes it so nice about the absolute cell reference there. But instead of just having it close off there, we do need to add another criteria. So we'll do our third criteria, which is going to be our end date here. So we're going to click on our date range, just do that, and then we need to do quotation marks less than, and something that we're going to need to do for this one is just make sure that our bids between, because we copied it and it was after the 14th, that still applies here, so we're, we're good to go. So less than quotation marks, and we're going to do the 14th, and then we can hit our close parentheses. And now it's showing us $2,907, so we can check the northeast between the 7th and the 14th, and it looks like there's only these two, and it's showing $2,907, which is what, what our firm is showing. So we can see there that it's, it's pulling, the formulas are pulling correctly, showing us the correct data, which is awesome. I know that this has saved me a lot of time. It's, it's been very helpful in different scenarios, and so I'm hoping this is helpful for you as well. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns in the comments below, and, and please remember to subscribe to the Excel Guy. Thanks and have a great day.